Hi, I'm Wendy Hollander, and now I'm going to show you how to draw a flower. This is a campanula. I probably didn't pronounce that right, but anyway, it's a tubular bell-shaped flower. What I do is I start with the simple shape. You can see I have a center line down the center of the flower, the center axis, and now I'm drawing the individual petals that come out of the cup-shaped flower. And each time I draw from the center and I draw the petals so that they're actually attached to the cup. And now I'm outlining, and this is all very lightly, with a graphite pencil, I'm adding in the sepals at the bottom and making sure they also come right out of my center axis of the flower and the stem. Now I'm picking up a dark sepia pencil, which is a colored pencil. It's a Faber-Castell polychromo pencil, and I'm adding tone on the inside of the cup-shaped flower to give the feeling of the depth of the flower. And you can see I'm toning underneath the petals of the flower. And if you're not sure what I'm drawing right now, you can look at the flowers that I've completed above to get the idea of what this flower looks like. I do want to mention that I always draw from a real flower and you can't see the real flower here. I should have put it on the page, but it is in, I am looking at a real flower as I draw this. So I encourage you to always have a real flower that you look at. Now I'm putting color. I had put down the form and the shape of the flower, got the structure, and now I'm putting down a purple pencil over it now. But this is not a dry colored pencil. This is actually a watercolor pencil also made by Faber-Castell. It's called Albert Durier, and this is a purple-violet color. And it goes on just like the dry pencils, but in a minute, I'm going to show you how I add water, and it's going to become more like real, it is real watercolor. So now here, I'm picking up what I call a water brush, which is a paintbrush with water in it, and you can see how that pencil and pigment basically is turning into watercolor and I'm spreading it around the form to give the simulate what happens on a real flower when the, the color is on the flower. But underneath my tones are still visible and now I'm picking up a gray, a green watercolor pencil because I'm going to put the sepals and the stem in green. And here again, I'm first adding color. I'm still thinking of light to dark and tones. And in a minute, I'm going to add the watercolor to this. And now you can see I'm, I'm adding a little bit of the darker tone as well. And this is, I go back and forth between the dry pencils and the watercolor pencils. When I want to add detail, I use the dry pencils and just for nice color and now here comes the brush and I'm painting in the pencil. And I want to say also I'm working very quickly here. Normally I don't work this quickly, but I want to show you how I do my technique. 